Hello. I'm back in my normal Tuesday spot. Hello, world. Hey, Dustin. Dustin already, already with the emotes and with the challenge request. Wow, he's ready to rock. Hey, Churro. Um, sorry, guys, a little bit late coming out of a meeting, but ready to rock on playscrabble.com with challenges and Dustin in the queue pretty much immediately. The new Scrabble look is nice. Is there, what's new? I don't even see anything new. Or are you talking about the logo? Um, well, thank you, I guess. I can't, I can't detect what's different. Um, colors are a little different, yes. There are actually a whole bunch of, uh, whole bunch of things that are coming soon little improvements a uh, set of improvements that are coming in a bit there's still some weirdnesses with i think i don't know if some of these things have been hot fixed dustin the thing that happened to us last time with the score calculation i guess we'll find out soon whether that's been fixed um but i know a bunch of things are coming soon which should be exciting i have something here um, I think this is a word. Yeah. Okay. So that helps. Hey, Dan, how are you? How's everybody doing? I'm looking forward to playing a little bit of Scrabble. It's been a busy few days here. Hey, Chessbone. No, it's so small. What happened to the widget? My beautiful widget. Why was it so small? Thank you very much for the three months um, sub to the channel. Um, hey, Mitch, how are you? All right, I guess there's no reason to wait here. I'm pretty sure that's going to have to be the right play. Um, but I do want to see why the sub... Let me see if I can fix that, like, on the fly. You know, these are early days of the Twitch channel here. At some point... We're going to have all of our, we're going to have beautiful emotes. We're going to have a special, uh, we're going to have a Twitch trailer. We're going to have awesome alerts that aren't just me making little graphics, like whatever it says for new sub and new follower. All of these things are possible and will be, and will be reality at some point. All right, now hold on a second. I got to figure out why that sub was the way it was. This is not this is not going to be a real sub. This is going to be a fake sub. See, that looked perfect. Why did Chess Bunzo not look so nice? I blame I blame you, Chess Bunzo. You are responsible for this somehow. For for not for your sub looking weird on on screen. So shame on you. Uh, for that and thank you Hannah for subbing not a real person but just pretending all right so taper is the play by Dustin so I have weird letters uh, let's see what do I want to do I want to play some crazy thing like ab abovate ab abulvation Something like this. I don't think I can hit because all my vowels get used up with that. So I don't think that's likely to be the play that I'm going for here. Um, hey, Jeremy, what's going on? How are you? So let's see. These odd letters. I feel like... I want to use the V, but I'm not seeing a great way to do that. It might be that something like this is good enough. Where can I use my V? This is not, oh, why wouldn't I do that here? <laughs> if I'm thinking about, yeah, Abvolt, this looks great. This looks good because it gets rid of all my junk. Keep IN, which is a nice combination inherently. It's two good bingo tiles. It absorbs the G extremely well. Lots of good things about IN. Only negative is really if you draw another I. So I think Abvolt is what I like here. Let's play it. And, hmm. 
So something, um, I'm going to deputize the full audience. I, w- I would love to emerge from today's stream with at least one position that represents kind of a fun puzzle, like an in- like a beginner level puzzle or even an intermediate level puzzle. And uh, shout out to, to Woggles for their puzzles. But what I'm looking for is something easy because um, just uh, a, re- a request from... Uh, Scrabble columnist for a newspaper was do you have any cool like board puzzles game puzzles from a game on play Scrabble hey Sir Fink so if, if something comes up that you guys feel like ooh this could be a good puzzle feel free to say so in the chat to remind me um, alright Tat Tat is the play if only that T were an I for Oblivion. Oh, that would be a very, very nice play. I think I've played Oblivion before. And because... So because I fastidiously... Well, actually, that's... That's not true. So if, if you know, fans of the channel will remember, I guess a couple months or a couple months ago now, was the Canadian Scrabble Classic uh, where I was competing... And normally, if you know me well as a Scrabble competitor, you know that I can barely last a day without quackling all my games to see what I missed in the games. And I still, I still have not quackled my games from the Canadian Scrabble Classic. They're literally sitting right here. They're sitting right here on my desk. Like, they, they're still here because... Yeah, see, here's where I missed Highveld, right here, and played Glaive. But, like, they're all still waiting to be analyzed. If I ha- and Once I analyze them, I, re- you know, I throw the papers away. I recycle them. I could sell them on eBay for big bucks. I assume all of you guys would be, would be ready uh, to show up to eBay and buy my annotated games. Um, <laughs> just kidding. Maybe someday... I don't think people are like are, are there people buying Hikaru Nakamura's like score sheets? <laughs> I don't I don't think so. Anyway, um, because normally I annotate all my games and post them on cross tables like almost immediately. It thanks to uh, Josh Castellano's website Random Racer, I could go on there and see have I played Oblivion in a tournament game, and I think the answer is yes. I'm pretty sure. Hey, Waybin, how are you? If I haven't quackled them now, no, I, I will quackle these at some point. I promise you. I promise you, I will. Um, I will never let a game go unquackled at this point. Quackle, of course, for those curious, is basically the the foremost um, Scrabble game analysis software. Quackle dot org, I think, is the website for it. And it really is, um, it's been many, it's been a while. And actually, I feel like it's probably ripe for somebody to innovate, whether that's the Woggles team or whoever, on Quackle and to improve it even more. But it has been the gold standard for quite some time for Scrabble game analysis. Um, All right, what the heck am I supposed to do here? I got to find a play. I don't, I mean, this is not playable in this lexicon. It looks pretty good. What could play through here, though? I don't know. It's not a lot. Through this L. I want to use, uh, I clearly with my combination of two duplicated letters, I would love to use both of them here. I'm really not seeing a great way to achieve that, though. <laughs> um, so, um, yeah, this feels tricky. I guess I'm gonna play this. I don't. I don't love. I don't love this. But at least it gets rid of my duplicated I's and D's. And it's. Oh, I'll. Oh, sorry. I'll get the bot up. Sorry, Waybin. I'm just going to do this in the interest of time. This this is a very uninspiring play. It also kind of opens the board up in a way I don't prefer. 
Dustin immediately plays gum. I wonder if he's going for the uh, the flag here. That was an, a very quick play. Perhaps uh, purposefully so. All right, well, we'll do this and try to do better with this cue. Hey, Lola, how are you? Nice to see you. Oh. <laughs> oh, man, look at this. Dustin with the, he is, I think he's going full on for the flag here with the instantaneous move. But the funny thing is that I have no way of dealing with this setup here. Streaming, Twitch bot. Is this set up to go onto, yes it is. Set up to go onto Scrabble. The bot is coming shortly. Oh, flag is uh, a term that is stolen from chess. So chess players on Twitch will use um, flag to mean run out of time. I'm oh, I forgot. I'm not logged in with my own account, or I can't do the I am Rosen dirty flag emote. All right, Jug, what the hell? This has <laughs> complicated my life somewhat. Um, I could just ignore this. Juga is a word too, and I don't have an A or an S, so this is very bad <laughs> for me. I have this Q that I can't really use satisfactorily at all, and um, Dustin has done a good job to create an annoying situation for me here. So um, I guess I can try to... Just block this off as best I can. I don't even see how I'm supposed to do that. Hmm. Tricky, tricky. I, I mean, I definitely have every incentive to do something that, you know, stuffs this area of the board up. This is, oh, man. Dustin played that so fast. I mean, is there is there any law saying that he has to have something good here? I know that the more I deliberate and just wait, the worse things are for me because he's trying to flag me. So I'm just going to go for this. I'm just going to see if he has an S or an A. Leave the spot completely open. If he bingos with that now, that's going to get him back in the game. So <laughs> let's hope. Let's hope he doesn't. Um, oh, I see the issue. The issue was variations to the subscribe to the subscribe widget. Okay, I turned off all the variations. I should turn off that thing too. All right, so he doesn't have anything. So I can just play something like this and be done with that spot. Not worry about it. The Q has definitely been a struggle here, but of course the score is 283 to 75, so I think Dustin is pretty committed to the flag here, the, the flag approach. All right, so I just have to, I just have to not flag. Um, back in the day, a flag would fall down on the chess clocks. Oh man, that just shows what a noob I am because I absolutely did not know that. That's cool. That's good context, obviously, um, to understand that. All right, I'm going to, whatever. I could exchange. I'm going to play Nelt. Okay, there's a U, but it came with all this other crap. <laughs> um, someday I will rid myself of this Q. Some beautiful day. I had the K for Hick, too, but that's not that big a deal. I would like to play Lynx somewhere. I could have played of. Oh, that would have been very nice. Yes. The A, the, so SF is going to be very difficult if had I played just of in that spot, as Jeremy suggests. That's a very, that's a pretty clever idea. Um, let me get up also my uh, draw telestrator tool and hope that it works correctly. Size it right. Let's see. We got this 
corner, four corners. Yes, perfect. So, Jer uh, so Jeremy suggesting just of right here. That would have been pretty good. AF would have meant a lot of couple things, but also not very many. So that, that does look like a pretty clever thought. All right. We got a cat here. My little guy is back. He loves to come up during the streams, as you guys probably know. If he decides to sit on my lap, which I would love for him to do, rather than just be floating and getting angry when I use my mouse. Um, all right, let's just do this. Just block that. Let's see if we can get him. See if we can get him on here. Um, so the technique, again, as I've said before, when you see my height change dramatically in my seat, it's because I've lowered my chair to the point where if Fitz does sit on my lap, there will be clearance underneath, um, there will be clearance underneath the desk for him to sit. So, you know, I have a blanket here and he is, hi. Um, so he's just chilling, and we're going to try to get him onto this blanket. Come here. Oh, it's not working. It's not working because he just is very happy and relaxed. Yeah, he's just really happy. So the technique of getting him to stand up instead of my on my lap is not going well. That's about the only thing going wrong for me in the last, whatever, 15 minutes of game time. Um, <laughs> thanks, thank you, emoters. Oopsie, here, I try to use the mouse. Oh, okay, Dustin resigned, <laughs> probably realizing that the flag strategy was not gonna work at this point. Dustin, if you wanna rematch if you want a fresh game, feel free. That game sort of got got away from from the get go. Oh, fishing for avocado, <laughs> nice. That would have been nice to get that down. Um, but uh, if yeah, if I blocked the V with key there, then the dream, the avocado dream, would have uh, would have died. Ooh, Dustin with the emote, nice, very nice. Hey, that's a nice crisp emote there. I'm liking that. That's a that's a solid looking emote for sure. Um, all right, uh, I am available. I'm not gonna do what I did last game, which was play two games at once, and that should make things a lot easier for me to uh, pay attention to what's going on and pay attention to you guys and chat and all this other stuff that is difficult when you're juggling two games at once. Um, so yeah, I can always just play a quick game against the bot, and as soon as I get a challenge from a human being, I will either abandon it or just finish up. So we'll play, um, the bot usually flags when I play it at this speed, but maybe it won't if I play on Grandmaster. We'll see. All right, it plays fib vertically. It's first mistake. Uh, man, the Q again. Just this, or do I try to use my X first? I don't know. Let's just get let's just get rid of it. Dustin fishing for avocado as if it was burrito. Couldn't get the couldn't get the letters that he needed. Sorry about that. <laughs> fishing for avocado is a new jam band. Yeah, it does. The fishing for avocado sounds like a fish lyric or fish song, for sure. All right, computer plays abduce. Do I have something here? Probably nothing going all the way across, but I certainly can just play axe. That looks pretty good. Oh man, I would have a bingo through an E. <laughs> Oh, that's a shame. I would have a bingo through an E, ex exerguil. That would be pretty nice. Um, unfortunately, the E that was played was not in the correct position. 
Uh, yeah, avocado actually as a, as food items that you can fish to in a game of Scrabble. Uh, that's a good one. It actually is related to burritos quite nicely. I feel like, or at least like tacos or something. Um, all right. Computer plays haploid. There's now a massive Y hook on the board here. There's also two A's that I'm trying to connect here. I'm not seeing <laughs> I'm not seeing a great way to reach all the way. There might be one. I'm not seeing it, unfortunately. I think I'm just gonna play Vogued. And hope for something better. And hope to not get crushed by a massive Y hook here. Um, yeah, I would think, so in Scrabble, there's this concept of probability, right? So probability is, roughly speaking, if you draw seven, oh, <laughs> I just got dunked on. I just got dunked on with one of my own frigging words. That's... That's my word. Oh man, that hurts. That really hurts. We'll play we'll play arcing, but that's to get to get styled on by the computer playing a wander wander word. Ow, that hurts. Stinger. Um but uh, yeah, this idea, like I was saying, of probability. So you pull seven tiles out of the bag. What is what is your probability of having a certain word? And that's sort of uh, how probability is calculated. But playability is something else. Playability is a measure of a word where how often when you have this word, it, when you have, sorry, when you have the letters involved in this word, is this word the correct play in a game of Scrabble. So Quackle playing itself a bazillion times uh, is a great way to come up with that measure and figure out which words are really, really playable. So like QI, Chi, is a very high playability word because it so frequently is the best play when you have those letters. Uh, avocado, I'm going to assume, it's probably quite high on playability oh my god look at this i drew two bingos so i have lazarettes here first of all it might not be correct to bingo but i have this also <laughs> um do i have anything else so have i okay well it blocked stargaze which is very sad um do i have some better play with my z i can't like something like that would probably be better i don't think i have anything there i guess i just have to play lazarettes and hope let's do that i'm close yeah why well, yeah the wander who is wanderu 15 indeed I mean, I could read, back when I was streaming more, I had floated the question to everybody of like, do you think that Wanderer 15, should I rebrand now? Like before I, you know, joined Scopely and started streaming here and doing other stuff like that, I was driving my own channel. I was driving that train as far as I could. And I noticed that very few, very, very few, big Twitch streamers have numbers in their screen names. I just noticed that. And I just wondered, like, is this something that I should fix now before I hit it big? Because, of course, that the way I, the, the very conceited way that I just phrased that, before I hit it big, which I'm obviously going to do. <laughs> no, if I hit it big, right? If, if, it's always if. Hopefully, you know, for, for me at that time, hopefully it would have been a win, but all right. I should uh, probably not go over time. 14 in the bag. I'm going to need to play quickly. Uh, lectured. Do I have anything? I'm close in this game, I suppose. I would, I'll probably play that next. To, oh, goo isn't valid i remember this is us english 
Uh, okay. What should I do? I really don't have much time. Four in the bag. Got to try to hit a bingo here. Oh, almost. Almost hit guttered here. Do I have something else? The score of the game is so close, I absolutely did not have to go for a bingo there. I just did it kind of because I, <laughs> I autopiloted that turn. Is there something here? Anything that could hit here would be a, a good play. Ah, that K, that hurts. Okay. Um, that will probably do it. Oh, I have very little time. It's not going to go out. Look at its rack. What a weird rack. The time is also, oh man, the time is also having issues. It's, my actual time is like 58 minutes and it's going back down to 51 here. So something, something's weird. I don't have, I don't have nine seconds. I'm going to flag almost immediately when it's my next, when it's my next turn, as you can see. Yeah. Also, the game just ended and did not produce a... The game just ended and didn't... Okay, there it is. It did finally produce that. Okay, so we didn't win. That's okay. Uh, I got Wander Root on, which is kind of sad. Um, but, uh, yeah, happy to take... Uh, if somebody, um, somebody... I'll give a moment. If anyone wants to challenge, I will accept one. Or you could send me a challenge at any time while I'm playing the bots here. Um, of course. Mom Daru 15. I will be seeing Mom Momer 15 later this week. Um, just helping her out as she does what we all love to do so much and get a colonoscopy. Something I did myself not long ago. It's just so fun to do that who wouldn't want to do it? And uh, she heard how much fun I had and said, I, I need to do this myself. Hey, it's Blastoise. Awesome. Um, let's accept this challenge from Blastoise, who I think we played last stream. Um, where can I get one? Yes. Um, I don't know. I mean, yeah, Waybin, she's totally fine. It's She is absolutely fine. It's completely routine, just something that as you get older that you do more often. Um, for me, I have had many of them because I have something called Crohn's disease, which I am pretty unconcerned. Like, I'm not, I don't mind sharing that. It's uh, something that has been mostly under control for quite some time. Um, sort of reared its head a little bit in 2020 as the medicine that I've been on started to wane in its effectiveness just a little bit, but we're back on top of it. I'm feeling really good lately. I feel like I have great energy, um, completely under control digestively. Really the worst of it was when I was a teenager into my early 20s. Um, so anyway, colonoscopy is just a... Um, is just a rite of passage every few years for me. I think I've gotten five or six by now. Not fun. It's really not fun. Ah, uh, hey, Lola. Yeah, so two of those Wanderer 15s are uh, test accounts that I made when the site was in early beta. The one that's me is the one with the picture of me that you can see here at the very edge of the screen, this here. Um, this picture of me winning the nationals. So there are three Wanderer 15s and only one has this picture. Of course, if you have to work, you should prioritize that. <laughs> but uh, if you were wanting a game, that would be the Wanderer 15 to, to challenge. And eventually we'll, we'll clean up the rest of them. Um, how does one upload a picture? I believe that is done uh, I believe that is done by going into edit profile or, oh no, I think that picture, that picture came because I signed up for this with Facebook and I've also signed up for Scrabble Go with Facebook. So the accounts are linked for that reason. And this is the picture that I use on Scrabble Go. So there are definitely improvements coming with usernames, with uh, uploading avatars and stuff like that. So 
for now, you know, there's definitely the this letter, this single letter. It doesn't offer that much custom customization, um, but uh, someday. All right, I don't see a great idea here other than just playing gum, unless I have, I would love to use both my U and my W. That doesn't seem possible, so we have to settle for something slightly less ideal than we would want, but that's okay. Um, so, yeah, I've been very, uh, I feel great lately. Just a quick update. He's sleeping somewhat peacefully here, keeping me company as we play. He looks kind of, you know, catatonic, no pun intended, but he's actually, this is just a comfortable sleep for him. I think he's happy. He, he seems unperturbed. Um, so, all right, EX, that's a nice play. Gets the X on the triple letter. I have an O here. I don't think I have any play that makes me really excited to use the O. For that reason, I may opt to do this instead. This is a little concerning just because this spot right here immediately becomes really easy to reparallel for many, many more points than I myself am scoring. So I feel a little concerned about that. Um, But that, but Owie, so Towie scores 16, and Owie scores 23. So I could just roll the dice here and hope to avoid a really big play in that spot. Is there any other? I don't really have great recourse. I suppose I could play Ode. I feel like this is this is even easier to reparallel. I think. Well, I don't know. Is it the E is maybe slightly easier to reparallel than the I? But all right, these are very like the really splitting hairs over the nuances of these plays. Uh, another idea is to just play O actually. So this the point of this is that I would keep by far the best bingo tiles of any of my options here. Just a nice balanced combination of letters. And I would keep a D with which to play. Because docs is not a word yet in English US, it's not as good as it could be. It would be great if docs was a word because then any of my bingos that end in ED would have a better chance of playing. So, all right, let's just move. And see what we get. So um, definitely a very good draw here. There's a lot of bingos available with these seven letters. Oh, wow. Very nice. Ovary for 44. So you can see that is exactly what I hoped not to have happen. Um, but... Actual typo says O was a crazy play. Um, yeah, it could could be wrong. Would you have played Owie instead to avoid these overlaps? I mean, the point of O is that the exact situation that occurred in this game happens more frequently than with any of the other options, which is you give back a big scoring play, but because your leave was so much better, you will eventually bingo more often. So the, I think probably... Dialect Citadel is probably the most points I can get. Oh, did I lose my C there? Went back on the rack. It's kind of funny that I have this too. It's not worth playing. Um, okay, Edictal Citadel. Deltaic doesn't play. I guess I'll play Citadel. Um, so yeah, unless there was like some much cleverer positional play available, I don't really mind. Oh, it gets hammered much more than the other options, but it also bingos more than the other options. So it's, you know, it's a, whatever, whatever your tolerance is for making those nice overlaps, I suppose. Um, and it's bingo lanes too. So it's you get you get bingoed on a lot, you get overlapped a lot. It's very bad defensively. I am very aware of that. Um, but it all works out sometimes, <laughs> no matter what. Um, 
So, okay. We have this. I bet that that's not as good. Well, this is a little risky too. Again, we have a big lane that this creates. Um, probably this is maybe a little safer. It's a little trickier to hit this for a ton, is it? With the early position E or U? I don't know. Maybe I should just play B. Oh, no, I can't do that. Is this better? <laughs> oh, was a Will Circa 2013. Ooh, Carouser, very nice. Um, that will be a fair number of points there. Oh, I have Kneecap, too. I didn't think about that. Um, huh. Okay, so I have the simple play here. This doesn't make me that excited. Um... There are a lot of different ways I could go here. Just cat, just cat for 31 is kind of reasonable. Um, Trank, is this 28? This gives very little back. Mib is not a leave that I care for, but then again, the other possibility was playing cat, leaving Mib plus an N, which is Really no different. This also leaves Mib, but it scores 36. Also, Mib, Mib just fits here for as a follow-up play. So I have so I have Mib. So maybe I should stop getting so mad at Mib as a leave when I have it for 39 points in that spot. <laughs> um yeah, let's play this, I suppose. I mean, this is going to, after a bingo by Blastoise, it's going to be kind of lucky if he has something huge that goes down right there. So I'll just play Kanat and see what happens here. Um, oh, Weibin wants Mib, huh? Interesting. Just went to play Scrabble and tried to, I guess I assume that's play Scrabble. Realized I didn't have an email. Now every time I go back to the main page, it's just black. Deleting cookies fixed it, but that's not so great. Oh, God. <sighs> yeah, okay. Uh, that is not great. I'm going to uh, copy this and paste this in a document. I should probably come prepared every day with like people's anecdotal bugs that I can just write down. Okay, fail is the play. That looks nice. Uh, and now I guess I play Mib. Oh, that doesn't paste with correct formatting. That's okay. Um, all right. I have Kanad and Trank for triple letter scores. Yeah, but I don't know. But 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 Weibin, can't I? Don't I bingo more often holding Mib than I do holding the Q? And they score roughly the same. I feel like the upside of Mib is higher, <laughs> right? If I just draw a blank immediately, I will sometimes bingo with Mib, whereas I need a lot of help to bingo with the Q. The scores are very similar. Unless we think that covering this scoring spot is like a red alert thing, which it might be nice to do. So I admit that. All right, let's play Mib and move on. I have Jaggier, which I don't think is a word. Um, but that was definitely an interesting position. That, that could be a candidate for, as I said earlier, maybe I... Oh, wait. Oh, my God. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Oops, okay, glad I waited a second. Because uh, that is a clear choice for me. So we'll see if we'll see if Blastoise ends up uh, ends up blocking it. Yeah. Yes, Dustin, it is. It is a word. Um we'll see. 
but uh, hold on. All right. Oh wow. Oh man. Okay, so I am gonna bingo here, almost certainly. I don't think jogger or something like that through the O is worth it. It's tempting though, 51. But this is way more points. The crazy thing about this play of Faro though is that not only is it making this nice, easy spot to score well or maybe get a massive bingo through with both blanks unseen, it also creates the fire hook. And there are, you know, a few things that could fit here with A, B, Y. Not that likely. It's much, you know, this is, a, this is just a potential decent scoring spot with an A. Anyway, I don't think there's much for me to think about here. I think I have to play rejigger and hope and see what happens. So I drew the A's. I drew the A's that I wanted. Now what? Where's my, where's my five-letter word ending in A? He's right behind you here. I don't know. I'm not. Oh, he's got. We, we have the. We have the emote. Right behind you is a swell guy. I think we. Anybody. Oh wow! Look at this. Actually, this is very good. Um. Right behind you, appreciation emote spam. Hey, Krebsy. Krebsy says fish for fatwa. Yes. All right. There's horn. Do I have a horn word? Horn, horn tweak, horn something. I feel like gawked is for sure the play. It scores 57, and it leaves an A up here, and maybe there's horn stuff that I can get with it too. All right. So I have this. That's going to score very well. I was lucky to get that stuff. Oh, also I have a Y here now. So, oh, man. I so I am not I'm not hurting for options here as I have a 44 point play leaving a s if I want it or a 45 point play leaving o s there's also a funny word which I assume this is pronounced o bois I think it's pronounced obois or something like that. I don't think it's pronounced hot boys, <laughs> just for the record. Um, because as you can see, it's an old name for an oboe. So it's, you know, oboe, obois, obois, right? Oh boy, obo. I don't think hot boys is uh, what they're going for there. Wow, obois. A large kind of strawberry. Well, wait, what does the other one mean then? What If this one means something completely different, okay, no, apparently it's just also a strawberry. Wow, how does that happen? So one is an old name for oboe, and it lists the other, it lists the other ones in there. I am at a loss lexicographically to explain that. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> uh, yeah, the VOD, <laughs> VOD watchers in shambles, exactly. So oddly, I feel like um, I was all set to play Thuya, but I definitely think youth is a smarter play. There, It's only one fewer point. It blocks the punto hook and punts and whatever else. It partially blocks the W and K, which those are not extremely good bingo tiles, but if I can block them, I might as well. It would be great to block the E, so I don't think blocking, I don't think spending the S makes sense here to block the E, just because the E is still mostly unobstructed. And really the E likes to hang out towards the end of words a little bit with E R, E D, E S. So I will not play the S for defense. I would like to continue to... Is there a horny word? Horny shout. Horny... Horny... Horny auto. Horny... Horny... Horny hot. 
I don't think there's going to be any extensions there. Horny toad? I almost have horny toad. That's not a valid word, but it'd be pretty funny. So, all right, we're going to wait for Blastoise to go. Right now, my move is probably youth. If he were to put the B somewhere, wouldn't it be funny? Let, let's all hope for a play right here, like B-I-S. We want this, don't we, gang? So we can see hot boys be played. That's what we want more than anything. Um, so... If we could just get that B right here, then we got the Hot Boy Squad coming right here with its oboes and strawberries and everything else that makes the, the boys so hot. Oh, <coughs> too bad. All right, that is a shame. This is a nice play to open up a little more space. Definitely some hooking potential through here. It scored decently well. I'm still going to play youth, unless am I missing something? I doubt it. Let's play youth. Oh, my. Check this out. I got a Z and a bunch of other stuff. I'm up by a fair amount. What about horny eyes to become horny? Um... This is a family-friendly channel, as you all know. So I am needing to be aware of that. But of course, um, you got to try different plays on the board just to make sure that they're valid. So I have no regrets. Uh, OK. Um, Let's see, what do I do here? That's 21 points. It gets rid of all those vowels and leaves me with nice letters and draws hard for the two blanks. <laughs> it does. Yes, yeah, so the auto mod is, I mean, Zaz looks pretty good. It's 36. It blocks this triple area pretty effectively. The problem is it leaves very imbalanced vowel consonant ratio and only draws two tiles towards the blanks. I can probably live with that. I don't think I really care that much about that. Oh, this might be the play. That, that has to be better. 37 points. It uses all my ammunition, but... Scores well, draws five tiles. Yeah, that's that's definitely what I would do, unless I have some cleverer play. I don't think so. I think that's that's gonna be a good play. <laughs> oh, Caesar afire! fire, holy shit. Okay, so I'm not gonna play this because I saw you guys say that, but yes, playing it there is definitely correct. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to play this out of uh, respect because I did not see it in time. And of course, I drew very well, so I'm going to play something like Anionic or Conidian or something. Maybe there's even a better. So I have bingos in a couple different spots. Maybe I have a horn extension here. Um, do I have something that ends in D? Probably not. Canadian. Uh, doesn't feel like I have something ending in D, but I don't know for sure. Um, but I have con I have stuff through the D and anionic, so I will be bingoing. I will be bingoing next turn. Somewhere. Anti-dino. <laughs> nice. Why not? Why couldn't anti-dino be a word? I'm sure it's more plausible than some words that are in the dictionary. Update on this guy. Still sleeping peacefully. I have... Oh. Do you want to... It would be so... I mean, I seriously have a blanket 
on my lap right here, ready to welcome him, but he wants to sit on the hard table. All right, Anionic it is. And oh, look, would you look at that? I drew the other blank. I can play Isle or something. Okay, so I missed Caesa in the obvious spot right here. <laughs> so that was a mistake, but otherwise I drew pretty well. Some consternation over my O play, which I understand as it is a very poor defensive play. But sometimes it's okay to make plays like that. Um, all right, Veiled is the play. I will play Isle, and that will do it for that game. Good game, Blastoise. Um, so it goes there. He got Carouser down for 62, but I had a lot of other stuff, including Rejigger. That was a pretty helpful draw. Um, GG, GG to Blastoise. Um, yeah. Could have missed some other stuff there, but with all of you guys watching, uh, I would expect somebody to notice. So, All right, open to more challenges. Obviously, I can always just play the computer again, try to avenge myself. Uintathir? That's a word? That's a, seriously a word? Where is it? What's, what's being... Wow, that's... I have never seen that word before. That's incredible. What a strange looking word. <laughs> very, very odd looking word. All right, let's try Grandmaster. If, of course, if anybody else would like to challenge, I encourage you to send it in. Oh, you know what? I want to play UK English. Let's play, let's play UK English, um, switching it back and forth a little bit. I know some, some of you folks in the chat are UK English appreciators. Uh, okay, well, that certainly helps me because I drew bingo. That's better than the other play. Oh, okay, it's Chris. Chris coming in with the, <laughs> of course, Chris coming in with the challenge right as I get this beautiful bingo down. Uh, that's fine. We can resign this game with the computer. I would have won anyway, as we all know, and now we can play Chris in a game. All right. Too bad. I had bingos there too. What did I have? I had per perinal. So I would have been able to play, oh, damn, Reekier right off the bat. Um, Tyleries is not playable in this lexicon, unfortunately, so I'm going to have to figure something else out that's not a bingo. Ili Iliates. <laughs> um yeah, this is this is a uh, UK English bingo, but not here. So that definitely fouls things up for me. Um, uh, boy, oh, this is gonna be a this is gonna be an annoying situation for the reason that I'm so close to a bingo, but there's like no way there's no way for me to do anything to score points and remain close to a bingo. Actually, there's no way for me to score points in any way, shape, or form here. Maybe I'm supposed to exchange IE, or should I just play IR? <laughs> uh, I guess I'll play it here. This is a very stupid looking play. <laughs> but the nice thing about it is we got two sevens lines afterwards that are not that easy to simultaneously block. So why not? Let's YOLO it up. Okay, I drew bingos. So I will play probably this. Uh, that also plays down here. Do I have anything else? Uh, maybe not. R. I feel like I must have something through an R, don't I? I don't know. Hey, Halites is valid, yes. Halites is valid. So I could play Halites in the same spot. The reason that I would prefer Helias is just because the T is a little harder to use. The T is a little more difficult to use in the triple lane. A little bit more difficult to put high scoring letters here. The S 
well, I guess the K is already on the board. SK would normally be a threat. SP, SH, TH is also a threat. TZ is a threat where S isn't. But the S is just a better bingo tile also, so I would rather not put it in the triple lane just because the worst can happen sometimes. So let's just play Heliast. Okay. So we got this. I th has this made it in yet? Yes, it has. Um, this is going to be the best place for you. Yes, there he goes. Yeah, that's the best place for you. That's the best place for you. This is the coziest and comfiest. Right? All right. That's what we were looking for. Okay, now this benefits everyone. This benefits everyone because Cat Camp can be enabled. Um, yes, Jeremy. Not only that, I have a second, hopefully by the end of today, as I'm out of office for the aforementioned uh, motherly colonoscopy uh, later this week. I have a second cat-related word video, which is... I don't think any of you guys are going <laughs> to learn new words from it, but there will be a, a word that we focus on in this video um, that should be a cat-related word. I won't spoil it, and I'll try not to give it away if somebody says what it is in the chat. All right. Here we go. Now... Can we get this set up so that it shows him? Oops. That's pretty good. Okay, let's see what happens when I do this. There he is. Yeah, sleepy guy. Yeah, Zoe A is an excellent word to know, um, for sure. Uh, that's sort of my tr trying to make it sort of more memorable. All right, this T, I don't think there's anything here. I think I may have to play ringtone unless there's, oh wait, I could play, can't I do this? That's so, and toiling, is significantly safer than ringtone. Ringtone, which puts an E in the triple lane, so it's like I'm giving Chris, if he has a blank or something like that, right? Like imagine Chris has a blank. I would be giving him not one, but two letters in the triple lane just completely wide open. So I think in toiling is better unless they're, unless I'm not see oh, negation, that doesn't fit. So I'll do that. I think this is better because I don't want to. Okay, well, I'm drawing very well. I'm drawing very well. A larval stage or the large larval stage, right? Isn't there like, how do I come up with the definition for, um, let me see this. There's a really funny, um, the definition bobo link. Let me see what comes up when I do this. No, nope. it doesn't it doesn't say it the way I want it to. A kind of bird, aka bobo link. Wait, why does it only it doesn't show them all? I thought the original Ziziva had a bunch of words that were defined as this. So this is a funny word. It's a bird. But years ago, there used to be a bunch of words that that defined themselves as 
as a Bobo link, but only one of them was defined as the Bobo link, <laughs> which these are the things that Scrabble players notice. Um, if you find that interesting, then come, come, come out and play with us sometime. If you don't, then you're a normal, well-adjusted human being. Congratulations on your mental state being so rock solid. Yes, he's very cute. His face is just buried. There is a cat face. Yeah, he's a good boy. Bobo Link, a bird of species, <laughs> Dolichonix oziv, or or is it or orizivorous orizivorous being normal is overrated yes i have always felt myself to be uh someone that does a pretty good impression of a normal person normal as in somebody that like can talk about sports and talks about the weather and talks about like i don't know like horsepower of cars or whatever people like but then in my mind, I'm thinking about video games and anagrams and like, uh, you know, hurtling through space while listening to strange music. Um, what else? What else is in my, the inner life of my, of my mind? Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Is that another emote, Dustin? Oh, why so serious is just a global. Okay, so I'm I'm a boomer and I don't recognize that. Video games are normal people talk now. Yeah, I guess that's true. Um, I was thinking about the game. Have have any of you guys? I think maybe of people that I've seen in the chat, only a critter is somebody that I know for a fact has played this game because I think you were streaming it at one point. But I have been oddly. I have been watching a lot of YouTube videos of people playing the game Elden Ring. And Elden Ring is like a insanely popular video game, obviously, from the people that made all the Dark Souls games and Bloodborne games. And it's like it's like a gamer's game. It's like a gamer game. It is not your everyday game. Um, and it's like crushing it. Everyone loves it. So, I don't know. Gamers are out there. Gamers are out there doing their thing, and yeah, any gamers in chat, exactly. All right, I have un I have butanes here. Do I really not have anything playable? This I, th I think this is also a expurgated word. Also, ni. <laughs> so never mind. I don't have anything in there. Uh, unbraced, urbanist. How could I not have a bingo here? A, I, L, ablute. Well, this isn't going to be good. And toilings. And toilings does not feel like a word. Okay, do I play this or I add the end? Maybe. That's a lot of points. I feel like I'm missing something here. Don't, if you guys see a playable bingo here, don't tell me yet. All right. I'm going to give up, but if somebody sees something, let me know. All right. What I have, anyone? Anybody see something playable there? I didn't see it. I could play this. That's not a good play when I could play up. No, I can't play update. Uh, let's see. That's OK, I guess. It would be nice to play something higher scoring.
Why is there nothing good that's there? Uh, almost die I paused. All right, well, I don't see anything great here. Maybe we'll figure something out. What are you guys saying here? Uh, 14 Domino says, I'll get back to Earthbound. Yes. Um, so, oh, is that what you were doing before getting addicted to programming is Earthbound. I've played Earthbound uh, once before. It was a very extremely entertaining game that I enjoyed. There were other RPGs from that era that I got into more. But Earthbound is a classic, of course. I think 14 Domino knows our mutual affection for Super Mario RPG. That's one of the best, most entertaining games that I've ever played. I remember uh, playing Super Mario RPG on Emulator, and for the first time, I did the thing where uh, you have to jump on... You have to use... His uh, Mario's ability, one of his abilities to jump, one of his jump moves, of which there are several, if you jump on somebody a hundred times, you get the super jacket, which is an incredibly powerful piece of equipment. And I remember I was never able to do that on the, the original Super Nintendo, and I was only able to do it on emulator by speeding, speeding the game, <laughs> slowing the game down using the emulator to basically cheat. Yeah, I've been ratioed. I have been ratioed here. Chris ratioed me. Um, so yeah, I am a hacksaw. I am a lead hacksaw. That was not, I hate doing stuff like that, but I wanted, what can I say? I wanted the super jacket very badly. And that justifies my use of hacks. That's how it works. If you want something badly enough, you can cheat and do bad things. As that's how I see it. Um, who is with me out there? Anyone? Who agrees? Um, all right, hold on. What am I doing here? Should I play updated for 22 leaving an S? That doesn't feel very good. I would say do add. It's 25 leaving EPS. It's a little better balance. The P at least plays here. I can get some good stuff with it. There have to be some better plays, though, I assume. Ped, ped. Dia paused. I said that before. Should I just play? Ra oh, ratioed isn't in yet. That's right. Ratioed is not in yet. All right, let's play this. I really have no idea. Okay, well, this is when you draw good letters. That's always nice when that happens. Let's see. Opsonize. I feels like there might be like optimize, but what is there? I don't know if there is anything. Maybe there's some up there's some crazy thing up here. All right. I don't know. There could be something. Got to think about it. Maybe I'll get some Oh wait, how about this R? I don't think so. I might be stuck playing Zig or something like this. Haha, <laughs> Jeremy. Docs and ratioed, yeah. Sign of the times, right? Like what words what words are coming? I would assume COVID is coming or is it too proper nouny? I feel like a lot of people would expect COVID to be coming as a word in the Scrabble dictionary, even if it's of dubious lexicographical Ebola isn't a word, so maybe maybe COVID also shouldn't be a word. Vax, Vax is not there yet, so Vax Vax, docs, and docs are in Collins. I don't think ratioed is in anything yet, but it's going to be there. Right? Ratioed isn't in anything. Uh, fap. I bet fap is coming as a, as a verb. So fap is already... So, 
So FAP is already in here as some weird old thing. Kombucha, that's definitely coming. Oh, it doesn't want me to say FAP. I wonder why. Um, all right, so I have this uh, nice looking set of letters and why can't I find something good with them? Like, Uh, I mean, it could just be Zig. It could be, oh, it could be Zoa. Zoa is better than Zig for obvious reasons. It just scores 39 to Zig's 33. So I think, so let's do this. I'm going to bingo a lot after this, and I will probably bingo here too. So we have Paimias. And what else? R, G, pig, pygmies, <laughs> pig, pygmies leaving a blank, pygmiest, pygmies. <laughs> uh, oh wow! Wait, I had podzol eyes. Wait, Ben, did you know that? I think I had that, didn't I? Podzolize. Pretty sure. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, but it's still a bingo. It has to be. It has to be better than Z well, me. Well, it's, uh, okay. It's not that. It's not as big of a miss as I thought when you said it. Just because it does put. It does put an E out in the triple lane, and with Zoa, I scored 40 leaving a blank, but it's still better. It has to be better, it, but it's not It's not like a devastating miss. So that that's like a lucky thing that manifests itself in Scrabble also is like it's very difficult to go that long without missing bingos. Um, but if you're playing a tournament or some competitive environment, and you just happen to get lucky that the bingos you miss are kind of not that much better than the plays that you make, then that's the sort of lucky break that you need to win stuff. It's definitely cooler. Don't I want to be cool? I am effortlessly cool. I don't need to play Podzol Eyes to be cool. I just, I just have that. I just have that. Je ne sais quoi, that you need to be a cool guy. And everyone knows that. <laughs> it's funny because, like, as I said, as I said earlier, I do feel like I do a good impersonation of a normal person or just somebody that can, that isn't, like, I was not, in school, I was not an unpopular kid. I wasn't the most popular kid. But here's the key, right? Like I was a nerd and I did nerd things, but the key is if you are just athletic enough to be able to play sports at a decent level, you get you get a pass from the kids that would otherwise, you know, uh, haze you badly or like, you know, put their put their sweaty jock strap on your head in the locker room or something like that. I was never that. I was never in that situation. Um, so that could be, that could be a good quote to, if someone wants to clip that, feel free. Um, all right, let's play Paimias. Uh, I, wait, this is a word, isn't it? Laicism? I don't think that really fits anywhere. But yeah, I mean, as a, as a kid, I was good enough at, uh, basketball and baseball in particular that I was able to be a nerd and not feel the repercussions of that. And I consider myself very lucky for that, frankly. Very lucky. Um, because now, as an adult, I have fully embraced my full nerddom in all of its glory, obviously. Um, I don't think anyone could listen to me for more than a few minutes without realizing that to be true. And that's fine with me. 
It is. It's definitely. I don't know if there's been a better time to be a nerd in human history than now. Uh, Ross says my uncle told me a story. Hold on. Why is this thing on Easter about how he played against a former Scrabble world champion in Portland? How interesting. Portland is home. If I don't know if uh, if Lola is still in the chat, but she can attest that Portland is home to. Well, sorry for doxing her, but uh, but um, she could definitely. Oh wait, I have a spot for it here. I didn't even see that until right this minute. Um, anyway, sorry, Lola. Some some of us in the chat, if she's still here, can can attest to how strong Portland is. Uh, it's just like it might be the pound for pound one of the strongest places in the United States right now to play Scrabble. Um, so lots of former champions in Portland there, Ross, that your uncle, that could be a real story. That's a, that's probably a real story. Um, Dan says you can go down the route I went, go so over the top nerd that the jocks treat you as a curiosity. That's nice. Um, yeah, I mean, just thinking back to like the, the equivalents of those people that I went to school with, like I was all, I always liked those people, right? I felt a kinship with those people. Um, I didn't feel as much of a kinship with like the jockier people, but they're, you know, they're fun to hang out with, except for being so aware of their position in the social hierarchy that they are apt to, uh, abuse that power in annoying ways. And either you have to, you have to step up and say, no, this isn't cool. Stop being a jerk to people you shouldn't be a jerk to or you just sit there and don't risk your social standing i did a little bit of both carl johnson yeah carl johnson uh is an extremely strong player i don't think carl is officially a world champion or national champion but he might as well be as far as i'm concerned carl is a super super strong player that was a finalist in the most recent North American Scrabble Championship, which was won by Jello Mocha's Alice, Alex Seaholm. For those of you guys that have seen Jello Mocha's in the chat, he's uh, that's a national champion there in the chat when he's around, which he often is. Pretty reliable stream viewer. Not that doesn't seem to be here right this minute. All right, Atomic. Do I have? Is there some crazy word like Hollow Atomic or some awesome extension? Maybe. Not that I see. These letters are pretty good. Um, I could just play something like this. I guess if I want to put the S on, I could. This seems reasonable. I could even just do this if I want to get another bingo down, but the board isn't very good for it. It just has this spot stands out as a very good bingo spot and an S doesn't fit here or here, not in this dictionary. I can't play ST. So I don't really feel like I have to hold on to the S if I don't want to, if I really want to go up by a few more, but I'm not going to use it anyway because we like the S. All right. Um, yeah, exactly, Lola. As I said, Carl is not technically a national champion, but he is the sort of player that if if he were to just maintain the abilities that he's you know displayed over the course of his Scrabble career and just keep trying long enough, he will eventually become one. Um, so to me, that kind of feels like, I don't know. I know there's obviously a difference between actually... Oh, look at that draw. Jeez. X blank, and Chris has that dreck. Um, I know there is a difference between actually doing it and sort of that confidence of knowing that you eventually will do it. Um, but, you know, I think for, for those of us that are at that level, I do think there's really no huge distinction to be drawn for, for people that are at that level and have just happened to get lucky enough and people that you know over time, if they just try hard enough, it will happen for them. So, all right. So a lot of points scored by me here. 
Unless I missed a bingo on the Butane's turn, I feel like these tiles mostly played themselves, which is especially nice after getting hit with Reekier to start the game. So that's luck lucky. Um, Chris says he had to have missed a bingo on the Reneg turn. I don't know. Those letters don't look that great. Unless you left some, like... An A was your, oh, uh, well, you have uneager on the rack, but I'm not sure that that fits anywhere on the board. The board was not great uh, for it there. So um, I don't think there was a spot for you to play at the seven. So I'm going to guess you probably did not miss anything. There's a Collins bingo through the T, so that would not have been playable. So you're, I think you're I think you're good. Uh, okay. Ready for another challenge if anyone wants to send one in. Otherwise, as uh, I did, I started two games against the computer. Uh, let's just, uh, you know what? I play on Grandmaster so often. Let's just play, no, I'm not going to play on easy. We'll play on Grandmaster. Okay, we got a challenge from Colin. Let's go ahead and play Colin. Is this, wait a second. Oh, it's English US. All right. So most of you guys are English US players, which makes sense. I think most of the viewership is likely to be that. I am perfectly comfortable playing both. Not that I'm flawless at keeping the dictionary straight, but I, I am still confident in my ability to play a decent uh, US English or uh, Merriam-Webster slash NWL, whatever. This isn't NWL, working on that. For those of you that for those of you that are wanting to play the NWL lexicon on Play Scrabble, we we are working on that internally, um, figuring out a way to make that happen sooner rather than later. Void challenge does help for sure, um, but typically I I don't find that I'm wrong that often when I'm thinking about oh I can play this or I can play that. At least I don't think so. But whoop, hold on. We got a cat, a dreaming cat. I think he's dreaming. Yeah, he's so cute. This is what, this is where he's supposed to be. Also, I have my best cat dad ever shirt on. As you can see, one of my favorite uh, shirts of which I have many, all, pretty much all of which, all of my cat shirts are provided for me by my wife, Allison. Um, all right, this rack sucks. Uh, I could do this. It scores nine. The leave is, uh, I mean, this is like, ugh. This is not good. Uke. Leaving this leave, which even if it was just A-E-L-T, it's not that good on this board because I don't have any hooks to uke. And it just makes one sevens lane that's even remotely hittable. Like if I draw something. But I'm going to do it anyway. Oh, man. <laughs> this is a shame. Oh, we're not playing Collins. So we're not playing Collins. So I will not be able to play Lazure right through this eye, which probably would not stay open anyway so that's okay uh vinesh says hi did you learn the stem for bingo or did you have a different way so i never used stems for bingoing uh, for memorizing bingos i guess that's kind of unfair to say though because i sort of did what i did was i literally just ooh, very nice oh it also lets me play lazurite too um so the way I learned bingos was just literally one technique and one technique only, and that was the Ziziva card box. And all I did was I, I searched for seven and eight letter words by probability, and I kept track of the ones that I put in. So basically how that, how that works, I can just show you real quick. Um, I would go to Ziziva. And, oh, that's not, no, I have to do my screen cap. So I would go, oops, stand by, hold on. I would go to Ziziva. There we go. Um, 
and I would search for probability order. I would say length, length seven, let's say, and I would search for probability order zero to 100. I would click on these. It doesn't matter though if you do that, and it just it just gave me the top hundred words by probability, and I clicked, and I would say add list to card box, and then I would do a card box quiz by going to quiz method card box every day for many many years, um, and when you do that, you're you're obviously seeing a lot of words of the same stems, right? You're seeing those high stem words, but I never paid attention to specific stems. I just kept adding words in chunk after chunk after chunk over time until the whole seven and eight letter word list was in there. Uh, I am not at that point in Collins yet. However, I feel like I should have a chance at least to see any Collins word just from having looked at it once or twice before. So Heiveld, as we know from the Canadian Scrabble classic. I missed that word, unfortunately, but I'm not super upset with that because I need a little more time until I have all the words like that in the, diction, in my, in the card box and in rotation where I'm seeing them. Now, all that being said, I have never studied less for Scrabble than in the last year or two. I've been coasting for quite a while and doing the bare minimum of study required to stay sharp. And eventually that's going to come back to bite me unless I carve out more time. But I'm going to coast for as long as I can and then address, address it when it starts to become an issue. That's kind of my... Uh, thought process right now. So exiled 45. Dexy is less, but keeps at least a consonant. Okay, molds. Uh, I don't think I have. I don't. There's like no. There's no play through the G that's going to make any sense. So do I have. I don't think I have a good X play here that goes all the way down. I may be forced to play. Oh, Dixie is bad. Oh, right. It's not this dictionary. I knew that. Dixie is probably going to be the play. Is it? Let me see. Mix something mix. Yeah, okay. Let's play this and move on. All right. Uh, so in this rack is a bingo. Um, for my money, one of the absolute strongest players in the world, a very, very nice fellow named Adam Logan. Uh, this word is uh, easy to remember in that context because the word that I have in this rack is Logania. This takes an S in Collins, I'm pretty sure, but not in English US. In English US, I think it's defined as like a collective group of, of a certain type of plant, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but in Collins, it's defined like as a plant of that group. So you could, I guess, have an S at the end of it. So um, anyway, I'll be playing it here unless a better situation presents itself. That's 71. Ooh, okay. Well, now that hurts. And I wonder if I'm supposed to play it here. Ah, uh, man. This isn't that scary. I think it's gonna be somewhat difficult to hammer this spot. Maybe it's worth playing for 78 points there. I don't think this is any better. It's 70 and opens up multiple triples, so I don't. I feel like for eight extra points, this has to clearly be worth it. Let me just see. Yeah, I don't. Oh wait, is there something through the G? Ganglion, Gagliona. I don't know. I think I'm gonna play this. Luke, I am your AI Logan. <laughs> nice. All right. 
Uh, let's just hope for the best here. This is gonna be. <laughs> That's kind of nice. <laughs> if I could play this. Um, yeah. Oh, Vinesh. Um, thank you for the question. Uh, I let me just see if I have on my. Uh, if I can find, I made a YouTube video that should help for this. I gotta find it. I have a YouTube video where I go into this topic. Yeah, learning words. Okay. So this video actually is doing pretty well on the old view count, 3,000 views. It's been up for a long time, obviously. But uh, this, this video, am I, did I unmute myself? Yeah, I did, okay. So this video here, is a video that I made where I go into how, to, how I use Isava and how I use the card box. I don't know if it will still be accurate, but I think it should still mostly be accurate. Um, and hopefully that helps. I go into a lot of the ideas that you'll um, find useful. Okay, nice play. He plays two for a quite good score. Uh, all right, let me see here. This is a very uninspiring play. 27 points is decent, but leaving, but leaving IIR feels really like I want to avoid that. I don't think I have a good play that reaches this E. It would be great if I did, but I don't think I do. I guess if I had to play, if uh, let's start with this. If I could play any word here, what would it be? I think it would probably be zero. It would probably be like this. It's a shame about RA. I would play this here in a heartbeat. Where can I play that? Not here. I mean, here is a place where I could play it, but that's not good enough. It's way too scary. Yeah, that's, would I, uh, you know what? I might have played that in NWL. Is Rego with two Gs good? Garth Yorg. <laughs> Is that a, I don't know that player, I think. Um, oh, man, this is... Annoying. I really don't want to keep two eyes, but what choice do I really have? Rig, rigor, rigorier. I, I, ugh. Garth Yorg and Dane Yorg. I have never heard those two names before. Played in the 80s. Okay. That's that's it. That's why. I uh I had a bunch of baseball cards from the late 80s that when I when we were oh, should I just play Grim uh, Grime? Ugh. All right. I gotta come up with something here. This is horrible. I hate this. I want an open M to play Grimoire. Oh, I dealt. It's the only thing stopping me. Um, find a play that doesn't keep I I. <laughs> okay. It's the find the play. There's the, there's only one. Oh man. Surely something here. The problem is, where do I put the I if I want to play here like I want to? Mm. I 
All right, I'm about to give up and let you guys tell me what whatever I'm missing here. That's Collins. Gorier. Uh, all right, we're just gonna go for this. What? Oh, what happened there? Oh, look at that. Pretty good draw there. What was the? Uh, what was the um, play I should have done there, Josh? Ogre scored twenty seven, which is okay, I guess. If I'm gonna keep, if I'm gonna keep two. My intuition refused to let me see B6 Gorier. Ah, okay. All right, that's probably better, but it's not like star play by a million years status. It's surely better. Um, for some reason, I didn't think of it. Um, okay, my 80s baseball card story is that I used to have a ton of baseball cards and basketball cards and football cards from that era and when i was moving to new jersey from pennsylvania with allison i decided that they were just taking up space and that the only cards that i was really interested in keeping were my uh whatever i have a small amount of magic cards that i have to go through and assess the value of them because i think there are some serious value in there i know i have some dual lands and a few other things jeremy can you assess? I have uh, a few cards. I have a few cards that I think individually are worth a lot. Um, and uh, also I have Star Wars collectible card game cards, um, which I loved. I liked Magic, but I loved Star Wars because I like Star Wars. And it was a little bit easier to get really powerful decks in Star Wars without spending quite as much money. So I, uh, anyway, um, the be the baseball cards, um, the baseball cards were from years where I called up a local trading card place and I said, "Hey, I have these full sets of cards from this era." Um, and they said, and he said, well, can I ask what year? And I said the year, it was like 89 or 88, something like that. And he said, yeah, unfortunately, cards from those years were so overprinted that the market is really not great for them. And frankly, um, it's at the point where uh, they're not even worth the space that it would take me to store them. Like, I am not interested in them at all. Um so I was like, all right, well, so be it. I don't care. Uh, and I put a Craigslist ad up, and some guy said that uh, he was going to give them to his grandson, and I you know, I let him have them for not that much. He gave me a little bit of money at his insistence. But uh, all right, this is not valid, sadly. That would be great. All right, this is a pretty close game, actually. Uh, Ogre is better than Gorier. Yeah, who knows? I don't know. When, as soon as you said Gorier, I thought to myself, yeah, that could be better. I don't know. It's hard to know that stuff. Um, this looks very close. It was a pretty good draw to II, except for the V. Um, I really want there to be something up here. I don't think that's even Collins. I think it's just C-A-R-V-Y and Collins. Um, all right, let's forget about that. We got to try to find a good play. I really, really want to use an I now. Um, man, it just feels like there has to be something here. I guess maybe I, if I have to use the S, I will, but I don't even see the S playing here. That well. Kariv, Raviv, Scariv. I could just play Vim. <laughs> this is a very uninspiring play, but now the Ogre's hook is pretty easy to hit and not that easy to block. So let's just go for this. I I could easily have missed something there. It's fine if I did. Um 
And now I guess I'm supposed to play Zhao or something like that. Uh, oh, Vickers and Ogres. Yeah, that could be all right. I think Vim is okay. Uh, Jeremy says you can help with the Star Wars cards too. Oh, Scribe. Yeah, that's that. I would have played Scribe had I thought of it. Didn't see Scribe. Though Vim is probably not that much worse, but it's I would I would want to play Scribe here just to grab a bunch more points. Ooh, we're gonna get. We may be about to receive a gift. Zoe is calling out using the meow that she gives only when she has a gift. Like she's bringing, bringing one of her toys up to me. Let's see if she makes it all the way. We believe we believe in her. We believe in her. Oh. All right. Now I get to sit upright again. You guys don't need to see this. <clears throat> you guys didn't need to see the groin shot of me uh, sitting up in my chair at the appropriate height. Or if you if you do feel like you need to see that, you need to reassess your priorities. All right. Um, now, now I had my simple J dump spot blocked. So what do I do? I missed scribe on the previous turn. I'm still like, I need an E. If I'm just able to get an E, I'm really in a good pos position to bingo. <coughs> I could just play Jog. <laughs> uh, I could play Joe, but that blocks my own hook. I'll just play Jog. <laughs> this is so bad. Should I play Joe here? Ugh. I feel a little. I feel a little brain dead here. <laughs> like I'm just not. Not feeling like I have a great understanding of what types of plays I should be doing. I'm just fishing kind of mindlessly, but okay. I wanted an E. I said I wanted an E. Unfortunately, <laughs> the two E's, I still don't get a bingo out of this. So hopefully I didn't miss any. Another big thing to the E of Wildest. If Colin plays something to this E, that might actually be a good thing because depending on the letters that he uses, it's a pretty good chance that I will have bingos through them. Again, it depends. Like if he he could play. Oh, cats came in, as you guys probably saw. All right, so he doesn't open anything. He's up by a pretty solid amount. This ogre's hook is still just sitting there. There also is this lane here. I guess I could just play cave. There's only one eye left to duplicate, so keeping an eye is pretty good for that reason. It's not quite as scary. Uh, sure. Wait, did I miss some stuff? Do I study common patterns that don't have a bingo? Uh, so, no. Basically, the only what I do is I study the words that are in the dictionary to the oh man block scenario. -y. Um, I really don't have anywhere for this satinier. Oh, I really needed scenario E to play there. Is I have nowhere else to play this. What so what I actually do, Dan, is just trust that the pattern recognition that I have built up from studying the words that are actually words is such that 
I am hopeful and I am often betrayed by my instinct. Well, not often, right? Like my, my success rate in general is pretty good. But basically what I'm doing is if I don't see something relatively quickly, I often just move on in my mind because if there was something there, I think I would see it very fast. So that obviously that justification can be extremely <laughs> flawed and error prone, but if your, you know, if your techniques for studying words are in gen are generally pretty good, you can get away with that a lot of the time. So it is not flawless and it's something that does require a great deal of um, training, I guess, for lack of a better word, to get to that point. 16, I really want to stay close to a bingo. I should probably just fish an eye, shouldn't I? Um, there's a lot of good scoring spots here. I also see the time is quite low. Let's just play this, okay. <laughs> Jeez. Wow. <laughs> Sierra. So I managed to draw draw another thing that doesn't play. I, I could be missing something though. Did I yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure if I missed something there. Um, studying that could be useful. Yeah, that is that is a very fishy. There were many other possibilities. I guess I could play caver next turn. That that makes it tougher for me to bingo along the top row. It's you know much less. It's much more obstructed. But I still have ogres and just keep keep grinding <laughs> till I get a bingo here. The score of the game is still close. But my tiles do not suggest that I can win this by outscoring. Maybe I, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I should. That maybe that's exactly what I should be doing. But we're committed now. Um, I mean, again, we're not. We're not necessarily <laughs> committed. Um, but I feel. I feel committed. I guess I could play something like snare. That's pretty good. Maybe I should do that. Okay, well, uh, that's bad. Sierra does not fit here. Gosh. All right, this is looking bad. I think I'm in deep doo doo here. I'm losing by a ton. What do I do? I don't even know if. I probably need to play snare and pray for some crazy bingo. I, I'm down by so much. Yeah, okay. That'll do it for me in this game. Yeah, tough. I don't know. I just, uh, this is definitely the, the downside of when you're in that situation in the mid game and all you need is one more bingo to finish the game off. And uh, you go on that fishing expedition, which I did here. Sometimes you don't hit your fish, and that is like I could easily. It's very possible that I could have the game could have worked out better for me had I committed fully to outscoring instead of going for that final bingo. Uh, maybe that pathway is more consistently delivering me a win in this game. It's hard to know. It's hard to evaluate that stuff. Certainly, I was very close with those leaves to bingoing a lot of times, um, but uh, didn't quite get there. Um, I also, I, it also should be said that I didn't really actually look and do any math. I didn't actually figure out, like, yes, I'm... I'm going to bingo with this tile. I'm going to bingo with that tile. I never, I never actually analyzed that. So um, it's very possible that. Oh, look at that! I could have maybe bingoed here and finished the game. Probably would have uh, won the game had I had a bingo. Um, let's see. 
Certainly not winning it now, though, unless I have one that I'm not seeing, which I don't believe I do. Do I have an up word that is playable here? Up tie, up der, those are not in this dictionary. I guess erupt is good enough. So yeah, that was uh, that was tough. This one would be a good one to uh, sift through and see, you know, go more in depth. We don't have that functionality just yet to go back and analyze the game. Uh, in my mind, I can I can definitely think of a couple moves that were dubious <laughs> when I played them. So. Um, so it goes, that's Scrabble. That's what makes Scrabble fun. If it was easy, it wouldn't be as fun. So Colin is going to come away with a nice win. That's, uh, I'm actually not, I'm not 100% sure if Colin is a viewer in chat or not. I would assume so, but maybe not. But uh, very nicely played. Phantoms is a nice play. Actually, a number of nice plays here. Just played recoinage, but opponent didn't even challenge. Is that a word? Oh my god, recoinage. Jeez, that's a shame. That's like Benji playing obduration against Laura Wolfson. A Collins only ten and having her not challenge it at all. All right, GD, GG, Colin. Uh, that was well, well played. Feel like there were a number a number of uh possibilities there. Oh, is that you? Is that you, Critter? Sorry for doxing doxing you, but uh Okay, there you have it. That's a pretty conclusive evidence. They have <laughs> Phantoms tried every letter with the blank. Yeah, that's nice. Phantoms with the F. Oh, Phantods too, yes, the howling Phantods. Any uh David Foster Wallace fans, although he took that wasn't his word. That shows that phrase comes up a lot in Infinite Jest. Um, all right, he's back. We're going to play. I started the stream a little late, so we could play one more game, let's say. I'll play one more. Um, Oh, you guys can't see what I'm looking at here. Come on. You're on camera. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. Good boy. Oh, he wants to need, I think. He's sitting up very high. All right, that's gratuitous. I'm gonna get banned from Twitch if I show that angle. There we go. That's a handsome guy. That's a handsome guy. I played Kit Mutgar at club through disconnected letters and my opponent was <laughs> nice. Oh, that's copy pasta waiting to happen right there beautiful um enrichments at club <laughs> oh that's so shame that's such a shame yeah 14 domino you should have at least gotten a challenge and some recognition of how ridiculous of a play that is enrichments <laughs> enrichments <laughs> i'm not even sure all right, I'm open for one more challenge. If anyone wants, I'll play a quick blitz game against the computer, see if we can avenge ourselves. Uh, but otherwise, uh, we'll, we'll be headed towards the end of today's stream. Look at this X. Oh, man. That doesn't seem right. I think I would like to quant... ALI, Aliquant, it would be a great play. Do I have a X play here? This is kind of nice, except it doesn't actually set my X up. 
Whatever. We'll do this. Oh, okay. All right. Again, we're gonna. All right. It's a it's a three minute game from Axer Typo. Perfect way to end the stream. It's an English US game. Let's not worry about the. Oh, is this a word? Yeah, I didn't think so. All right. Pianino. Uh. Pion. I guess this probably. Seems okay. Switched to UK, but it didn't register. Oh, brother. Yeah, I've had that happen too from time to time. Um, it's totally fine for it to be US. It's I'm, I'm totally fine with it. All right, let's see here. We're playing extra typo. Very dangerous guy. Dangerous on the Babel Royale field. Dangerous on the Scrabble board. Not dangerous in real life. Total sweetheart. We all love extra typo. Um, he plays Upo. Look at that. <laughs> nice, Jeremy. Jeremy with a very solid uh, dad joke right there. Um, which is very near and dear to my heart. All right. Um, I'm going to play Beanie here. Just because I don't have a great play for the X and it scores 28 points, maybe I get some better thing for the X. Uh, hmm. I mean, I guess this seems pretty good. I think that's quite likely to be blocked. That looks pretty good too. Yeah, let's play this. Okay. I drew agent tree. So at the very least I have this, but I would like to find something else. It doesn't feel like, I feel like I could easily, very tall, yes. Extra typo is six foot seven, he says. I feel like he's six foot 10 or something. But I can't, but who can tell once you get beyond a certain length? There's no telling how tall extra typo might be. Um, it's very tall. All right, he plays Kombu. That would let me play Agent Tree here, but it doesn't fit anything. This is certainly a little scary with all the overlaps, but let's do it. We're going to do it. It's quite easy to hit these spots if he has the right letters. And we're going to have to run that risk. All right. Way too many. I have way too many consonants here. It would be great to play something like Helic or something. I don't think I... Oh, okay. Retooled. That will get the job done. Um... Ugh. What's my play? <laughs> oh, there's like no vehicle shell lech lay. I'm just all right, this is a lot of points. We'll just do that just for points and to cut the Y off because it's pretty good. Plays Gride. This is a easier one. Ooh, look at this. I drew a blank. Fellow, fellowman. Okay, I've been lucky the last few plays have been pretty clear. Just like quick to find, but yeah, he's so cute. Look at his little arm. 
Good boy. Now I'm in a little trouble, though, just because those plays were easy. Now I have, maybe I'll have a blank burning play on my, like, is that what I should be doing? Uh... Josh doesn't have that much time. Oh boy, oh boy. Should I just play Flam and leave this? Oh, it looks so bad. For do. Exchange, I could exchange. It's not crazy to exchange here. Zarf. Something. Fell, Mel. <laughs> All right. This is, that can't, oh, brother. Okay, this is, that's not what we needed. That is an arm. So you can see his legs are, his legs are back here. And his, that's his arm draped over the front of my lap. Yeah, he's a good boy. Uh, all right, unless some crazy scoring spot opens up for blank burning, which I don't think did. There's nine in the bag. I will keep RZ blank. Sazerac, not, not playable here. No, wow, I'm so lucky. I am so lucky that was not void because... I just attempted to play. Oh, he emptied the bag. Uh oh, I might be losing here. Uh, yeah, I am losing because I redrew the double L's. R R M I. That's a Collins word. Hmm. Landlers, Laneros, Last Lorn. <laughs> yeah, I think that's, I think I do not have it here. I guess I could still, you know, I could still make it kind of interesting. He's going to find some way to score, I think. Rels, rolls, frawls. I wonder, did I have a, I, oh, Lyra. Maybe Lyra is a winning play for me. Probably not. Uh, okay, this might not be right. This, uh, Josh, do you think, do you think the, Tiles left over bug. Hold on. Let me just see. This was the score before. So there's still there's still an end of game tile, you know, deadwood tile bug. It's possible Josh actually won this game, but that it Oh, I still I still won even with that. Okay. Yeah, never mind then. Um yeah, close one for sure. So something, I think I got more points or it deducted double the, it deducted twice as many points from Josh as it should have, I think is the bug right now. So if that's true, then I guess I still win narrowly. Okay, well, that's a lucky one. Yeah, Czar, certainly. Cats were 50. I was like, well, I, that must be it, but. Had a couple plays and Josh was struggling with a V and a bunch of other junk. Okay, all right. Um, so yeah, as I said, there's going to be sort of a raft of new little improvements coming at some point in the near future to tidy up some of these issues. And then at some point, feature development will continue for some of the big cool stuff that we hope will be coming. Um, so yeah, not sure exactly of the timeline there. But um, also just need to make sure, um, fingers crossed, just need to make sure everything everything is good with Josh on Thursday, but just have to iron some 
annoyances out behind the scenes here. Make sure that everything is going smoothly. Um, but other than that, uh, I would assume that Thursday Josh will be back again. Fingers crossed, like I said. So let's see who is doing some kind of a word game stream or adjacent to word games. Well, of course, we have Eric Rosen, as always, um, to pass the good vibes to. But we don't want to force, you know, don't want it to force Eric to feel guilty for not playing. Um... Oh, you know what? We've raided this guy before. There's a guy who streams Wordle pretty much every day. Um, and his name is Kenny. Maybe we'll stream him or raid him, I should say. Unless somebody has a... Eric wants to... Oh, Eric's going to do... Oh, if Eric has any interest in doing Scrabble puzzles... Oh, he's doing Title Tuesday. Okay. Um, all right, then. Let's raid this other guy who's, who does lots of Wordle. Uh, his name is Kenny Haller. He seemed pretty friendly when we raided him before. I think his biggest following is on TikTok or something like that. So, um, yeah, on Twitch now, though. But, yeah, Wordle, um, I'm sure many of us do Wordle. Perhaps it's too casual for some of the Scrabble junkies out there, but I certainly do. I won by eight. Okay. Um, even so, uh, well, GG, first of all. Even so, uh, we will make sure, I think, very, very soon that end of game bug is going to be fixed. If it's not already, I don't think it is because the score was not correct. Best you had was a loss by four. How do you, how do you know that so fast? Extra typo is very clever guy. All right. Well, anyway, thank you guys for, uh, watching, challenging, having fun in the chat. Appreciate you guys. Um, he <laughs> quackled. Damn. Um, but uh, all right, let's send Kenny a raid here. He's playing Wordle. And maybe we can even get him to play Scrabble. Who knows? Probably not. I think Wordle is his thing. But uh, in any case, thanks, gang. Catch you later.